When it comes to doing pulling for your upper back, being able to adjust both your hand orientation as well as the width is going to help you target the muscles that you want to work on. So one of the nice things about the Prime Short Bar here is that you have the ability to take and move this to a variety of different width positions. So if we're trying to focus more on kind of our rear delts and maximum shoulder extension, we're going to use a width that is about shoulder width. So if Chelsea grabs that one that's already set up for her, now she can essentially focus on driving her elbows back, and that's gonna be our intent for a little bit more rear delt. But if she wanted to make this a little bit more kind of a global upper back exercise and incorporate some other muscles, she could set that up and she could move it to the center, right? Which would be the equivalent of me doing this. Do that as well, Chelsea, right? So now with these narrower, what you'll see is she's gonna have a pull apart type motion. So now instead of just driving her elbows back, because she just kind of end up here, what she's doing is she's pushing her elbows out and that's giving her resistance to drive out in that stretch position, which is going to incorporate a little bit more of diverse uh, contractile tissue in terms of that initiation of the movement. We're going to have more teres in there. The rhomboid is going to have to support that kind of retraction and coming around movement as well. And so that is another way to do this. And I actually like to superset those exercises quite often taxing the rear delts in that fully shoulder their extension position and then moving them narrower and finishing this off you will lose a little bit of range of motion in that scenario but you will get a little bit more out of the lengthened with that narrower setting the other important thing is that hand orientation so when we're trying to do upper back training and we're driving out we're likely going to use a like semi pronated type motion so with the short bar you have these built-in swivels these are in the long bar as well that allow you basically to take that rotate handle and rotate it to wherever it needs to be okay the other option would be to grab a fixed bar that is already in that position or to use something like the prime four in one bar that does use fixed positions but you are able to adjust from one setting to the next here so i can adjust to a semi-pronated or a more neutral grip or a semi-supinated. So I have neutral, semi-pronated, fully pronated, and semi-supinated. So a neutral grip is gonna be more valuable when we want an arm path like this for lats. A semi-pronated is gonna be really beneficial for kind of driving, driving the arm back in that 45 degree angle for say rear delts. And then that pronated position might be a little bit better for some people, they might like that for the pull apart type motion. Um, some people will still get a lot out of the semi-pronated in terms of the pull apart. It really just depends on the arm path that you're looking for. If we're kind of looking for more global upper back, that semi-pronated is probably gonna be the most beneficial. But if we're trying to target just a little bit more of that pull apart mo motion, maybe it's just a little bit more kind of retraction based force, then maybe that you know straight pronated uh, grip is gonna be valuable as well. My preferred, if you had to pick one, is to have the fully adjustable swivels in here with the rotate handles because then your semi-pronated is wherever you need to go. But this is definitely a really good option over a straight, fixed, neutral, or pronated bar.